So we're going to claim our first mileage claim. So I'm using a car, not a van, a bike or a bicycle. The purpose of the trip is required by HMRC, so they need to know that this is a genuine business trip and not us going on a personal jolly. So the purpose of the trip will be to visit client X. I'm going from my place of work. I'm just going to put a postcode in here. And I'm going to Burton Latimer. So I'm just going to check the mileage, uh, check the route on Google Maps, and that's fine. That's the way I would have gone. And my distance is 83 miles, but this was a return trip. So it's going to double this up to 166 miles. If I carried a passenger, a work-related business passenger, I'm going to put my one passenger in there because that's um, going to add another five pence per mile to my claim. Now, this is a trip I do regularly, so I am going to save this to my, my favourites, and I'm saving my trip. So then you get this green banner at the top here that confirms that your expense uh, has been claimed, your trip has been claimed. So I'm going to put another one in here, and actually two or three weeks away, uh, say Monday the 11th, I went to Ipswich. And Queen Street and say that was another client visit. And this time I am again going from my home. So it doesn't matter um, about the capitalization on your postcodes. It was a return trip, but this time there were no passengers and uh, I don't need to save it as a favorite. So in this case, I'm just going to save my trip and it's going to add these to my expense claim. So say I've been through and I've added all of my expense claims for the month. I'm going to go and look at my expense claim now and I can see that between um, March 18 and now, since I made my last claim, I'm claiming two visits to two clients and that's a total of £93.80 of which £85.50 is at 45 pence per mile. My 166 miles with my passenger is £8.30, and there's £4.12 of VAT on these. Now, what Tripcatcher then does is it tells me how many supporting fuel receipts are required. Now, HMRC doesn't care that my fuel receipts match these trip dates, what they care about is that I have fuel receipts that happen sometime in this period that relate to these two visits that I made. It wants to make sure that I have actually spent money on fuel. So in order to claim that £4.12 back in VAT, I need to keep receipts of £24.70. Now I'm set up to print reports, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this report to PDF. I'm going to save it in my downloads, and then when I submit my expense claim using zero expenses, I'm going to attach £24 worth of fuel receipts to justify the VAT that I'm claiming on my mileage claim. So I'm going to cancel that for now, and that's done.